All right, let's play some Yander Simulator, boys. Let's go. All right. What the fuck? When I first heard about Yonder Simulator, I thought, my gosh, it's gonna be a beautiful game. It's gonna be everything that I wanted in my preference of Yonder Girls. But when I played it, it's just... It's just Yonder Simulator. I know that Yonder Simulator is a very popular game nowadays, and a lot of these new YouTubers have been covering this game, but I don't consider it a game that much. The game has a story, but I don't consider it to have a proper story. It's just a girl who just stalks a person and gets rid of their love rivals. However, it just isn't special. Yandere Simulator is just not a special game at all, and I don't consider this as the most definitive Yandere game ever. I mean, there's other Yandere games out there, and I don't understand why this gets put next to the big Yandere games out there. Like, there's a lot of other ones. I would rather play Doki Doki Literature Club than play a game that only gives me 10 FPS. The main problem with Yandere Simulator is just how the game has been like made as it is. I mean, it's promoted as a Yandere game. The game is just a simulator game. A Yandere Simulator, which it's obvious, like, it's literally named Yandere Simulator. And don't get me started with how long the game has been in development, because this game has been in development since 2014, and to this day it's <laughs> still being developed. Why is it taking that long? I don't understand what is so hard to develop this game. Either A, the developer is, you know, having fog, like a writing fog, or some sort of fog with creating the game, or two, he's too busy doing his own shit. But if you're passionate with the game, which it's obvious that the developer is, and he wants to make a proper game like this, but why is he taking like over like nine years to develop this game? It just doesn't makes sense why he would make a game that's developed in hell and he barely did any work because the only new thing he does is just five new things of the de of the new demo he doesn't even change things with the story he doesn't change anything with the characters he just only adds like bits and pieces and another major flaw is why would you develop 1980s mode like if you're busy with the original project why are you focusing with another story of Yonder the Simulator, even though you're focusing on the main part of Yonder Simulator. He's been too busy creating Yonder the Simulator 1980s that he completely forgot that the original Yonder the Simulator even existed in the first place. I get it though, it's made for prologue. You need to know the mother's backstory, but it doesn't even show any backstory for Ayano. It just says that Ryoba is obsessed with her senpai, whatever he's called, and it doesn't show any sort of thing about Ayano, or why she came up with the name Ayano, or what even happened. Did she abuse her? Did she, you know, give her up for pro- Yonder Simulator is not a bad game, but it's not a good game either. I mean, I would rather play any other game instead of Yonder the Simulator. Like, like, I have other games that I have in my mind. There's other stuff, like visual novels, that basically scream out Yonder, which it's pretty good. Early in this video, I talked about Ayano, which she's the main protagonist of this game. And I would love to talk about Ayano because she is one of the most basic and most unexciting Yandere characters I've ever seen in like forever. But I know how a Yandere works. And I'll tell you, Ayano is pretty trash. Most Yanderes don't show off their hints. But in the beginning of the game, she's sus. She's very sus. She gives off the vibe of being creepy, and she usually gives the vibe of, you know, the stalking behavior, and she usually gets bullied and become, you know, more suspicious. Like, I mean, everyone in class is suspicious of her, no matter what. Which, with most Yandere's, they keep up a facade. They keep up most of the time a facade to push away any sort of bad press towards them in order to gain affection of the original character, which is their love interest. And Senpai, which... That's not actually his name. Senpai means a person that is a higher class than you. And in this story, Senpai, which I'll just give him the other name, Taro, which the community calls him, even though that's a really weird name to call him. Taro Senpai is higher than Ayano because Ayano is in a lower grade. But the big criticism is that he is one of the most bare basic 
anime <laughs> protagonist boring character you can think of. You really think Tadano Hitohito or the protagonist from Rent a Girlfriend is bad? Whoa. <laughs> oh, you haven't seen this yet. Senpai is usually given when the person is the highest rep compared to the lower person. Basically, if you are a 6th grader uh, girl and then your senpai is a 7th grader, you have to call him like, um... Ken Nichi Senpai. Or if your girl friend is higher, you would call her Akari Senpai. However, this person doesn't have a name. And it just doesn't make sense. You just gave him the name Senpai without thinking straight. So maybe he just doesn't know what Japanese terms he's using properly. And Osana Najimi. I know there's a lot of other characters out there, but most of them have stereotypes. Which this game is full of stereotypes. Lots of them. Osana Najimi is a perfect stereotypical tsundere. Because most tsunderes I see have orange hair. And Osana Najimi is also one of those annoying tsunderes. And the ones that just don't get any sort of character development. And she just killed, gets killed off. And the graphics. I know this is on Unity Engine, but it's just not great. This game doesn't have a heavy workload, and it's like so simple. Like it's a Unity Engine game, unless it's like engine-taking games, like you know, real-time kind of stuff. Yandere the Simulator is not that type of game, and if you have a very low processor, I don't recommend getting the game or a low graphics card. Because if you have like a GTX, I bet you're gonna have like 50 to like 20 FPS, which I see a lot of people having that. I originally played it on my law top, which is what I started off with the channel with, and it ran bad. In the end of the day though, Yandere Simulator is just a game. It's literally called Yandere Simulator. However, it's not that type of game it would be like, oh my gosh, it's, it is the best Yandere game. It's like the number one top 10 Yandere game and the most played game and one of the games that should be recommended. Because there's other good Yandere games out there, like Look at the other ones that also have passion, and they took a little bit shorter, and they have more stuff being added in that is very important. I mean, Sako no Sutoka has better development than Yandere Simulator. Am I ever gonna play Yandere Simulator ever again? Never. <laughs> this game is just a headache to talk about since the game has been in development hell and the drama towards it. And I'll tell you right now, this game, and I want to tell you right now, I don't promote any harassment, but this game is just Yandere Simulator. But if you like the game, good for you. Um, I don't control what you play, but if you like the game, I don't, I don't blame you because this game can have some, you know, value in it, right? But it's just not for me because it's all about preference. And if you really like the game, I have one last thing to tell you. Enjoy your Dota. So